Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth and my channel name is Shy Town Girl. I am back for the second time in one day, oh my gosh, um, with the rest of the Dollar Tree haul that I had from this morning's video. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I have a nice iced coffee, like it's not cold enough outside, I needed iced coffee. I just came from the pharmacies getting some of the medications and um oh i'm telling you trying to do anything with doctors or pharmacies right now with this covid stuff it's just insane so i kind of refocused myself a little bit um threw a little bit of makeup on i thought maybe make myself feel a little bit better um but i want to share the rest of this dollar tree haul with you um there's some cute things in here basically this is makeup um, blind bags. I'm going to do some openings, a couple Easter items, and that's kind of like the mixture, some new washi tapes. So that's kind of what this one's all about. So if that's not anything of your interest, um, it's up to you if you want to stick around or not. Okay. So let's jump into the washi tapes. Washi tapes are always made by Crafters Square. Now, usually you're only gonna get washi tapes if you have a store that has the crafting section, but that's not always true because I have heard from certain subscribers that they can find washi tapes and they don't have the crafting sections. So maybe that's just something, you know, Dollar Trees are so different from state to state. I'm just opening all the washi tapes because I like to show them to you out of the package. Um, Dollar Trees vary so much, like <clears throat> in my area, I'm in the Hudson Valley area of New York State, so I'm kind of in the sticks. And basically, I have one main road that there's like four Dollar Trees on, and I can go to each one, and every single store is going to have something completely different. And if I even go further out, like over the water, um, it's the same thing. So every store gets different things at different times. So I think the fun thing for me, because I had somebody ask me, you know, what is it about, you know, the Dollar Tree that keeps you going back and stuff? For me, you know, it's always the thrill of the chase. I mean, yeah, you can order stuff online, but what fun is that? I mean, it's okay to order stuff online. I'm not trying to say it's not. I'm just saying that Part of this, you know, is the thrill of the chase. Finding new items, seeing what someone else has, and then being like, okay, that's on the wish list. And, you know, you try the best you can. There's my drop already. Bloop. <laughs> um, you do the best you can to try to find stuff. So, with that being said, these are some new washi tapes in my area. And I thought they were super, super cute. This one here has rainbows and norwales no how norwill i have no idea what happened there um let's try that again rainbows norwales um just super super adorable this next one i was trying to figure out what it was at first in the package and now that i'm looking at it it's little birdies but these little birds are like cruising around on like, it looks like this one's doing a wheelie on a skateboard. So I thought this was kind of fun. Like, I think I have like almost all my washi tape drawers filled. I might need to buy another case. Um, I have quite a bit. <laughs> this next one reminds me of like a terranium. Is that, am I saying that right? Um, you know how you do plants, little ones? Isn't it a terranium? Is that the right word I'm using? I'm not sure. This one here is all about teddy bears and rainbows and donuts and french fries. There's like a whole bunch going on on this one. So let me spin this around a little bit better. Remember 80s? Who used to carry? Remember the big boom box days when the bigger the boom box, the better it was? Let me talk. Remember some of those big old boom boxes? All right. Last but not least, this one looks like little pugs flying it has to go this way it's a little pug flying on balloons and then they're flying in hot air balloons so there's a lot going on on that one so those are super cute let me scoot them to the side all right <clears throat> i did find some more eager bunnies i'm telling you i came out of the store with 
two in my bag. When I got home, they multiplied so fast, I have four. That's how fast these suckers multiply. I'm just joking. Okay, so these, I don't know. I have mixed emotions. Uh, um, I mean, for a dollar, you know, I think, I think what it is for me is I feel like they're too plain. Uh, 12, 13, 14. These are about 15 inches, okay? So first of all, this is the bunny. Let me bring it in a little bit closer. So here's his ears and then the face. You definitely wanna pay attention to the faces when you find these because I saw some with the faces upside down I saw some with the noses up here, an eye missing, an eye down here. It was just crazy. So make sure you pay attention. So then you have these little arms right here that some are sewn. I just did the best I could. Some are sewn higher than others. And then you have this long body and then these little like um, felt feet that have this little pink on here. So I'm not saying it's ugly. Because I would never say something like that. But I think, you know, with maybe a ribbon of some sort here, I think it needs, you know, it needs a little TLC. But it is actually cute for a dollar. It's great to put in an Easter basket. So when I saw them, I go ahead, I went ahead and grabbed them because they're just, everything Easter is like pretty much about three quarters of the way wiped out out in my areas here in New York State. I did pick up another one of the foam eggs for my tree. These are so pretty. I don't know. Let me take them out of the package. They aren't super big. You get 12 of them. But what's really pretty about them, and I'll show you, they're perfect if you're doing a small tree like I have that I'm decorating. And I did start. Um, I started cutting the felt for the base of the windows. You know, I was thinking about doing a video of me actually decorating, but I don't know if that's interest of anyone or not. Let me know, hit me up in the box below. These are about two and a quarter inches. They're styrofoam eggs that have just a little material loop on there, like a ribbon. They come in green, purple, my favorite color, and there was some pink and yellow and orange in there but super cute and these are gonna be going on my tree. I had purchased only one package before and it's not gonna be enough. So I needed to get another package and I didn't open it last time. So I wanted to open it to show all of you. I did find some more face masks, only two. And this one of course got my attention instantly. You'll know the reason why in a second because it is new Yes to Grapefruit Brightening Vitamin C Glow Boosting Unicorny Paper Mask. OMG. So I am definitely going to be doing a video of this. I'm really curious to see if it's going to look like a unicorn. I don't know. Sometimes the packaging can be tricky, but um, I have used this brand before, so I know I'm safe with that. So I'm going to give that a try. The other one I found is made by Mask Bar. And this is a blue glitter peel off mask. So for those of you that like um, the Blue Man Group, I don't even know if they're popular anymore. I don't know what's going on anymore in the world. Um, I thought this would be kind of fun. So I'm interested in doing some face masks. Some face masks. Yeah, I can talk. That means I need a sip of coffee. Okay, new makeup brushes. I think I got every single one that they had. Don't hold me to that because I could be wrong. But these are angled contour brush. They're super pretty. First of all, there's little unicornies up on top there that catches your attention. Inside there, can you see how, uh, let me hold it like right there. So do you see you've got like a rose color? There we go. And then you've got like a purple. And then right down here, you start going into like a light, light teal. And then you get just a little kick of green at the bottom. So I found one that's the angled brush. Also, I found the powder brush. So here's the difference so far. 
This one is the eyeshadow brush, and these are decent sized brushes. Let me just give you a quick measurement. Seven inches. So there's that one. And then I found the concealer brush. So I thought this would be super fun to put into an Easter basket. I actually need to build an Easter basket um, for grandpa. So that's something I was thinking about doing a video with. Lots of times I have all these ideas and I'll film stuff and then go, no, who wants to see that? You know, and I'm never really sure. So that's why I'm always like, you guys have to give me feedback. Let me know the things you want to see. Within reason, I mean, I might have to, you know, go to a paying channel. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. With the way the world is right now. Oh my gosh. All right, let's move on before I get myself in trouble. Let's open up a couple blind bags, shall we? So we can get off this topic. I found such a mixture. It was like, <clears throat> they had this big box on the floor in the toy section and there was just like all these random blind bags. And I was just like, what's this about? I don't know. I think they were just either maybe cleaning their back room or doing something. It looked like they were organizing. So I just stuck my hand in there, you know, and grabbed a few. So I'm going to share them with you. I'm prepared with my scissors. And I forgot another washi tape. I just found it. For those of you that like your koala bears. Oh, these are so precious. Look at these little guys. Uh, let me get it in there nice and close. Aren't they adorable? Oh my goodness. Look at this little one hanging out. So precious. So for those of you that like your koala bears, I don't know why. I think the most question I get asked is about the washi tape. It seems like a lot of people are unable to find washi tapes. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. All right, these are, I've, I don't think I've seen these before. This is called Animal Crossings. Um, official Nintendo licensed product. It's a backpack buddy. I want to say I had these a while, while back. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to cut it open. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different versions you can get. There they are on the back. So let's see what we get. I'm going to make a big old mess up here. Okay. All right. So we're all wrapped in some kind of cardboard here. Okay, I have no idea who these guys are, but this dude's sitting here playing a guitar. For those of you, a little fun fact about me, I know how to play the guitar. I actually learned to play guitar on a 12 string. Um, I'm not real great at it, um, but I do know how to play it a little bit. And of course, what was the very first song that I learned? No, it wasn't Smoke on the Water. It was actually Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> the second song I learned was um, Kodachrome. <laughs> little fun fact about that. Uh, there's what this little dude looks like. It's a pretty big, I mean, it's got some weight to it. It's a solid rubber piece. Does this dude have a name? His name is KK Slider. So he's going to be jamming all up in some stuff. All right. So I have another one. Let's open that one and see what we get. All right. So here's the other one, the same kind of packaging. Actually, you know what? I see a tear thing right here. I don't have to cut it with scissors, actually. All right, let's see. It's always a bummer if you get a duplicate. So I always, you know, it's nice if you don't. Oh, it's a monkey! Speaking of monkeys, where has my Gidget been? Gidget was my monkey girl. I haven't seen you for a long time, Missy. I hope everything is okay with you. I would love for you to check in with me, Gidget. Um, please, I want to make sure you're doing okay, girl. All right, this guy measures five inches. And it's a monkey. And the monkey's name is Porter. Porter is his name. So, two more toys to add to my pile of toys that I have. Then I came across Fingerlings Mini. 
And this is what the package looks like. And it looks like there are like a crap load that you can collect. I think sometimes these blind bags are just like lottery tickets or scratch offs. You know, um, you start getting addicted after a while. You just say, I'm only going to open one. And then one turns into two, two turns into four. And before you know it, you got them all open. All right. So these are fingerlings. I feel pieces. So I'm just going to dump in my hand. So the first thing that we have is a card that tells you what you can get, the different ones. And we have, which to me looks like a bracelet. And then that was just a piece of plastic that fell on the floor. Ooh, look it, I got a diamond ring. How about that? I got a diamond ring, wow. And I got a monkey. So I got a diamond ring bracelet, look at that. And then I got this little monkey, how cute is that? Oh my my, isn't that just adorable? Alrighty, so that's a fingerling. Kind of a strange name for a fingerlings. All right, we'll just zip right past that one and open another one. All right, got to stay out of trouble and keep these PG-13. All right, let's open this one up here since we have, whoops. Of course, something has to fall out. All right, what fell out? It looks to be like some bananas. That looks like bananas. Is that not bananas? That looks like bananas. All right, so we have another card that tells us what we can get. We have the plastic. We have another bracelet that I would assume the bananas hang on. So we will hang the bananas. And another monkey. So there's monkey number two. So here's the difference between them. Wow, this dude's tail is a lot longer. And then see how this one's all curled up? Aren't they cute? They're kind of like ugly, but they're cute. They remind me of, um, just off the top of my head because they have these things, they remind me of Teletubbies. Does anybody remember Teletubbies? Oi. <clears throat> All right, moving on. I found some troll bags. So I got three of them. Let's open them together. This is actually series eight, and it says there's 12 different ones to collect. I'm getting that information from right there. I never look, you know, there's so many different ways on these blind bags. Some have windows so you can cheat. The whole point in my opinion to have a blind bag is because you don't wanna cheat, you wanna know what's inside of it. Yes, if I wanted to collect certain ones, I could, you know, definitely find out what's what because all blind bags have certain codes and numbers that will identify what is in what bag. So if you really want to be, you know, a fanatic about it, you can. For me, I'm just happy. I just like to be surprised. That's the whole point of a blind bag to me anyways. So what we have here is we have some information that this is about Hasbro. This is also a little slip that gives you all the different ones you can collect on the front and the back. And what I got, oh, it's a little glow worm with a hat. Oh my gosh, this guy is so cute. I'm actually gonna put it on Rizzo. And there it is. Isn't that little dude adorable? You know, it's funny because Sharon made a comment, by the way, hey Sharon, if you're watching, Sharon back home made a comment, uh, what were we talking about? Crap, now I forgot. Um, oh, oh, Sharon had brought up something about the, um, did anyone remember the glow worms? And I made a comment and I was like, LOL, I have a glow worm that's about three inches long and I've had it in my purse for probably 15 years. Honest to gosh, um, what, I'll get it out of my purse. I'm in the upstairs so I don't have my purse up here, but it's about this big and it lights up. It's filthy, but I don't know what it is. I got it and it's just transferred from purse to purse. And I don't know when I'm in a mood or something or I want to cheer somebody up, I, you know, light it up and I don't know me. That's just how I roll. All right. So I have another one. Let's open up this one together. Let's see. 
I thought trolls that you would just get the troll dolls, but I guess you can get all different kinds of things. Um, this one would come out, would be helpful. I think her hair, oh my, she's stuck. Well, anyways, the same two pieces of paper. She's actually stuck in the bag because I think her hair, here it is. I think they attached this poor girl's hair to the bag. Let me, uh, yeah, oh my. That must have been very uncomfortable packaging for this girl. Wow. Yep, look. Ay, that's kind of how I look in the morning. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep, that's about what I look like in the morning. <laughs> that's an 80s hairdo for me any day of the week. I have no idea what this little one's name is, but I'm really digging the do. I'm totally digging the do. Um, super cute little character right there. Look at that hair. That is funny. All right, uh, I had, I think, yes. I have one more troll bag to share with you guys. I always make sure I shake my bags down. Um, not these bags, um, but basically because you never know how tall the hair is or whatever it is, and you don't want to cut into your, you know, whatever it is that you're getting. So let's open this last one together. And what's in there? Tell me what's in there. Sometimes it feels like there's nothing in there. All right, two pieces of paper. And we've got some pink coming out. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, look at this little dude. Oh my goodness. I have to put this on Rizzo because this one is so small. Oh, how cute. Of course. Yeah, look how steady my hands are. Wow. So, oh my goodness. You know what it is? The hair is catching on my oh so lovely non-manicured nails. There we go. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. These are so adorable. Look at that little face. So much fun. All right. So that's it for, oh no, wait. I found uh, <clears throat> a couple more little ponies. These are super cute. Now, what did I do with my scissors? Okay. So these are my little pony. And all of these are made by Hasbro, by the way. And Hasbro is a brand name. I try to do this without poking myself. Hasbro is a brand name product for toys. It has been around forever. All right, so these are super cute. What I like about them is they come in a container that you can store them in. So what you get when you open it up is this little container. And then you're going to open up the door or try to attempt to open the door. Great. And that was just a sound effect. You get those for free. This one says on top, it says it's series two, collect all 24. And then we're gonna get something in here. And then we're gonna get, so there is the background of where this little critter could be kept. And then you'd close the door and it would look like that. So here's the package. Here's the slip of paper that tells you all the ones that you can collect. Man, there's a lot of them. Wow. Oodles and oodles. Look at all these different ones that you can collect. Now, yeah, that would definitely put me into um, broke zone. All right, so here's the plastic case. And then it's wrapped in this little wrapper here that doesn't have a seal or anything. Oh my Lord, I just beheaded it. Oh my gosh. Oh, my oh no, it was the whole thing. I thought the head fell off. I was like, oh man, I'm having a bad day. Okay, so basically, whew, I got nervous there. I need a sip of my coffee. Whew, I thought I beheaded it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's always an adventure with me, isn't it? My goodness. All right, so... What happened was, is she fell right out of her dress. Okay, um, there she is. How cute is she? And then basically, you can put her right in here. And she'll stand up and look all nice and pretty. So, these are actually a little bit more on the bigger side. And I like the fact that they are a little bit bigger. They're a full two inches. So, you know, I mean, that's not huge by any means, but it's a good size for collecting. 
Well, if you decide you want to use the case, what you would do is you would put your little pony in there. And it's almost kind of weird because it's like they have this beautiful background, but because pony is so big, you really can't see it. So there's the background. And once you put the pony in there, you really can't see much. I mean, I guess you could put the pony in there without the case and it would be more visible. Maybe it's meant to be that way instead. Because I think if we did it the other way, I don't know. You don't really see anything, do you? I mean, maybe that's just me. But, I mean, I guess you see her, but you don't see the background. So, to each his own. I have another one. Let's open. I've had a few of you mention to me, like, when I start playing with toys, my voice changes. Yes, it does. I don't know why. I think it's no different than when you get in front of a baby and you start talking like a baby or you get in front of a puppy and you start talking, you know, all puppyish. I've always been like this. I do make weird faces. I do make kind of weird sound effects sometimes. <laughs> Some I can't control, unfortunately. All right, cellophane, get off. Um, all kidding aside, though, um... Yeah. All right. We'll zoom over that one. I'm going to get in trouble no matter what I do. All right. So this one, again, same concept. I'm just going to open this one up and just find out which one we got since I kind of basically went over the entire process of what is what. Here is what the inside of this one looks like. And let's see what we have here. Okay. I don't want to... Is this, oh, I was like, is that the same one? Oh, this looks like what, what in the world is that supposed to be? Okay. Um, hmm. Well, what in the world is this? Can someone tell me what this is supposed to be? Because I really have no clue. Is it a snail? No. What is it? Well, anyways, um, the pony sits in there like that. I don't. Poor pony. Oh my gosh. My poor grandson. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't drop him. Well, not often anyway. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, so here's this one. I'm not sure what that piece is supposed to be. It, it, I'm not sure. I, I'm sorry. I can't really describe that bottom piece because I really have no idea what the heck it is. But it is super cute. All right. Moving on from blind bags, found some new makeup items. Some cute stuff to go in Easter baskets, big time. I came across some new LA colors and they have these awesome glow sticks. They are LA colors glow sticks. They are um, 5.5 grams, so they're 0 0.195 ounces. It says highlight and accentuate the first one's color is called halo and the second one is called poppin now you can't really tell nothing in the packages so let's pop these open please keep in mind right now at this time of the year i'm pretty pale and pasty for the most time my complexion is basically fair once i get out into the summer sun and I'm hitting the beaches, that's a whole different ballpark. Then my skin tone gets pretty nice and tan. All right, so I'm gonna just do a swatch of both of these if I can get this on out of the package. Oh my goodness. All right, so the first one I'm going to try, yeah, it would help if I told you which one it was. This is the halo one. So there's what it looks like. You've got a cap you pull off, and then it's just got like a twist top, okay? Just like a lipstick. So I'm going to do it like right here because um, my skin right now is really pale and pasty. But let's do, oh, yeah. Can you see it right there? Let me let me roll this up a little bit more. Uh, where was it? Right here. Yeah. Just a little bit. See it right here? You don't need anything crazy. Sometimes if you're going out like in the evening, 
you're going, say you're going out for dinner, you're outside having dinner by the water, which I'm able to do in this case. And you know, you're sipping on a margarita, just kicking back, having a good time, and you want a little sparkle, take one of these. Maybe you're wearing like a sun top or something. Put a little in the cleavage area, you know, maybe a little on your neck just to get some attention. Um, <clears throat> this next one, I forgot the name of that one. This one is the popping one. Okay, I love that pretty pink. And let's see what this one gives us. This one looks like it's got a little bit more of a bronze type of color. And it does. I don't know how well you're going to see that on screen. But here was the first one. And here's the second one. I think it's just because I'm so fair skinned right now. There's that second one right there. So I'm not sure. There's a good shot. You can definitely tell that that one's lighter. These are really pretty. So there's so many different places that you can use these types of things. Um, I use different makeup in different places just because it's meant for your eye or your face. Um, you know, it doesn't mean you can't use it in a different place. Obviously, you want to be careful where you're using it. But um, yeah, you got to, you know, get the best bang you can for your buck with your products and by using them in different ways. Um, I found some more LA Colors. LA Colors is like all over the place. This is the LA Colors Loose Face and Body Shimmer. Shine like a star. I found one, two, three. I thought I had one more color, but maybe not. All right, so the first one I have is called Sugar Dust. And this is what it looks like. Let me get the glare off for you. That is sugar dust. The next one is called fairy dust. And it's a loose powder. There it is inside the container. You just twist off the... I'm just going to show you. All of these are 0 0.7 ounces. I am, okay, I'm having a rough night tonight. All right, well, I'm trying to get that one out of the package. The other one I found is called Gold Dust, and there is your color. And I don't think I showed you the color on the Sugar Dust. My bad. There's the color on that one. So I'm still trying to get this one out of the package. Seriously? Oh, my goodness. Here goes my heater. So if my voice cranks up a bit. Okay. So there is what it looks like, pretty little plastic case. You're gonna twist off the top and, oh, I love the fact that they have the protective plastic in there that just gives you a little bit that comes through the holes. So when you shake it, it's not like overboard. It does have this awesome little piece of plastic that you lift up. That's on there for packing purposes, so your powder doesn't go everywhere. Man, I gotta get my nails done, they're absolutely horrible. Okay, so what you would do is, now I've peeled the plastic back, you would technically put your lid on, shake it a little, and bring some of that powder to the top. But because there's already some powder to the top, I'm just gonna show you. And there's the color. I'm not sure if that did it any justice. I think I'm probably too light. There it is. You know, right just a little bit to catch your eye. Up like down on your eyebrows. Again, you know, down this area, the cleavage area. Places like that is perfect for just a little bit of glimmer. All right, so let's move on to more LA colors, but I think these are going to be really fun. There are one, two, three, four, five. I want to make, I got them all. So one, two, three, four, five. Where is six, seven? Okay. Oh my, these are going to be a blast. All right. LA Colors Gelato Lip Balm. The first one. They are all going to be 0 0.175 ounces. The first one. Now, let me see. It doesn't tell me if it's flavored. 
and it doesn't say anything about scented. So it looks like I'm gonna have to be opening one of these up. All right, so let's start with, the first one is chocolate. There's the packaging, but there is the actual container. The next one I found is orange. Orange, people say I say orange funny. I don't know, I'm from Chicago. What can I say? That's how I say it, orange. <laughs> and strawberry, they have some great, flavors. Vanilla. Whoops, that was a double. My bad. You guys know me and my doubles. Uh, this one here is mint chocolate chip. Oh, yum. I thought I had one other flavor here. Bear with me strawberry because I did get a couple extras so I'm just gonna sit here and hold this for a second no I'm kidding uh maybe that was it okay so I'm gonna open the mint one I want to see what they smell like and I want to see if they got any flavor let's check it out wow packaging is and crazy okay so there's what it looks like and just for size purposes, inch and a half, okay? So they're not huge, but they're not rinky dinky either. Great for an Easter basket. All right, so it's got a twist off cap and it almost looks like, um, what do I wanna say that thing is called? Oh, I, somebody just yelled. I heard you, but you gotta yell a little louder. What was it? Is it? I still can't hear you, girlfriend. Okay, anyways, it's got this little ball. Absolutely, definitely smells like mint. Wait, am I even rubbing my lips on the right part? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> what I meant was, never mind, let me have a sip of coffee. I know, I have a horrible, dirty mind. Okay, so it definitely has the smell of mint. Mmm. Mmm. I kind of really can't give you an answer because I had my cotton candy flavored chapstick on. I can smell it, but I would have to try another one without my chapstick on. Okay, so I also found in the LA Colors, besides the gelato, they had these types of packaging, which I thought was kind of cool. And these ones are Sunday flavors, but these are in a chapstick form version. They are all 3.5 grams. They are all by LA Colors. The first one is, and this one does say it's scented. First one is cherry. Second one is pineapple. Fun stuff for Easter baskets. The next one is cookie dough. I got a couple of those because I love cookie dough and I would be really curious to see what that one. All right, also, um, oh, I was like, oh, are you kidding me? I was so shocked to find these. I mean, I found these. This is kind of a repeat. Um, and I grabbed all four. There was four on the shelf and I scooped all four up. Yes, I was being a piggy <sighs> because I love these. These are amazing. I'm even going to open one up and show you all. What it is, is hard candy. This is a repeat purchase. These are so hard to find. Two colors came out. One color is very dark, so it would definitely be for a darker complexion, not someone of my fairness in color. Um, and then they came out with this color, and I love it. And it's the hardest one to find out here. This is the Rose Gold Light Bouncy Highlighter by Hard Candy. So I found four, and I snappled them super ass quick because... I did give quite a bit of hard candy makeup away and I didn't really save much for myself. I have to say, look at this packaging. It is very pretty. It's not cheapy looking. 
It's a really nice compact and I am kind of partial to rose gold. So I love the case. And then you open your case, really, really nice. You've got this protective piece of plastic here. Once I can remove it for you, cause it's got like some sticky stuff. So there it is. Let's get a swatch. Oh, it's like, it's like velvet. Let's see, let's go right here. Can you see right there? Let me do a little bit more. I wasn't sure how dark it was gonna be. There I was. There you go. Really, really pretty. I have used this on my eyes. I've used it on my cheeks and I've used it as a highlighter. And as far as I'm concerned, I had no problem with it. Um, I had compliments on it. I like it, it works very well. I also found, and I was like, oh my God, where's this hard candy coming from? Like I said, I think they were cleaning the warehouse or something in back because they just had like boxes of stuff in the aisle and it was like random stuff. This is hard candy as well. And this is the Glow All The Way, number 841. And it's called Three Times A Lady and it's got the three different colors. It's got the blush, the bronzer and the, um, what is it? Blush, bronzer and luminizer. So I was very happy. I scored three of those. So I was very thrilled about that. Also grabbed myself a e.l.f. Stay Shape Brow Pencil. I really wanna do my eyebrows. I've had my daughter do them a few times and every time she does them, hers are always perfect. When she does mine, I end up looking like a freaking jack-o'-lantern every single time. They're like, rah, rah. I'm like, oh my God, I can't do that. Man, I scare people as enough as it is. Anyways, so I was told this may help me. Um, I suck at doing my eyebrows. I really do. I've never done them right. I, I think I have one like a little bit. This one's higher than this one. So I don't know. I don't know how you all do it but some of your eyebrows are just so absolutely beautiful and i look at them and i'm like why can't i do that i don't know what it is i know it takes practice but i'm 55 almost i don't i'm out of practice man you know i'm past that stage anyways this is the stay shape pencil in clear so what it basically is is like a wax that's going to allow you to outline where you want to do your eyebrows without going over it. Because the wax is going to prevent it from bleeding over. At least what I've been told. Don't hold me to that either because that was just some info leaked out to me. What else did I find? I had one more makeup item. It was two. Here they are. This now is wet and wild. This is, I found... Number 826C, the color is golden tan. It is wet and wild, <clears throat> excuse me, photo focus pressed powder compact. Whew, that was a mouth freaking full. Okay, that's what that looks like. What I like about these, I mean, wet and wild, is it the best? I don't know, I have like a ringing in my ear. I apologize. Hello, hello, hello. Um, what I like about these is they're not super, super cheesy. I mean, there's worse makeup out there in my opinion. These are nice for like if you're traveling and just having fun and not really worried about how perfect your makeup's gonna look. So if it breaks or it gets lost, it's not the end of the world. So that's what I look at these kind of makeups for. I don't necessarily look at them for like every day. Some of them I do, but most of the times they're like items of convenience because I couldn't tell you how many times I've dropped one of these pretty large compacts and then it's just all over the floor. So when I'm traveling out and about and I'm throwing bags on planes or in the backs of trucks or whatever or trailers, you know, these kind of like are my go-to. All right. I think that was a pretty darn good Dollar Tree haul. Now you understand why I couldn't fit that all in because it would have been like a two-hour Dollar Tree haul and I probably never heard the end of it I again I cannot please every single one of you all I'm trying the best I can but you know when it comes right down to it every youtuber has their own unique way I like to measure things 
lots of things. Um, I like to describe things the best I feel that I can to really give you not just a visual of the product, but to give you like almost like you're touching it. I want to describe it the best I can because I feel that's why I open packages so you can see it. You can, I know you can't touch it and feel it, at least not right now, but I'm sure that time will come when we're just reaching through screens, believe it or not. But I open the products because I feel like if you're seeing it just through a package, sometimes the package is more appealing than the actual product. And I'm always practicing and preaching, you know, presentation. And sometimes the presentation of a product will get you to buy it versus what the product on the inside really is. And it ain't all that sometimes. It's just the packaging that's going to get you. So sometimes I try to be the guinea pig for all of you and try to save you a buck if I can. They're just my opinions, only my opinions, and that's just it. My opinions only. All right, everybody, until next time, thank you so much for all of your support. <sighs> Again, hang in there with me, all of you. I appreciate it so much. And to all the new subscribers that have hopped on board, welcome. I wish um, the new subscribers that have a little patience with me, you're coming into my channel where I am just in the middle of a lot of chaos um, under the circumstances. I'm trying to stay focused and I appreciate you hopping in and sticking around with me and you're all just an awesome family. Until next time, everyone, enjoy your evening. Bye for now.